Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to Black Ops 3. <laughs> hey, what's up guys, this is your boy Apex. Gonna bring you a Blackjack gameplay and introduce you to him and go through his specialist ab abilities. Uh, let's start off with Rogue. Rogue, it's a really fancy one. You would have to kill enemies to get their specialist weapons, which I found really cool. And then Gambler is the opposite. It would be the special abilities. So it's funny because it depends on kills. It doesn't really depend on score like the rest of the specialists. So he's kind of he's kind of advantaged. He's an advantage choice on any other specialist. I can see now why they put a time limit on him. But yeah, here we go. We'll go into a gameplay right now. But before we jump into a gameplay, let's go over my class. Gonna be using the Mana War Reflex Sight, Quick Draw, and Foregrip with a Black Cell. Uh, lethal as a Semtex, uh, Concussion, Blind Eye, Hardwire, and Gun Ho. Let's get into it. So I already had this recorded, so it's not really live. But I'm gonna go over the gameplay while I'm playing. Uh, anyway. Rogue is a really weird specialist ability because you only need 5 kills to get the ability and then after that you kill any enemy and steal the weapon. It's pretty weird though because supposedly, I've, as what I've heard, when you kill an enemy and you get the ability and you get another one and then you die after that, you can't... How can I explain? You can't clip them anymore so when you die that's it it's over your chance is done but that's not what's been happening to me I died like you see and I got the war machine I believe no the look the ripper I got the ripper and here I got the war machine so it's pretty weird I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a glitch or that, that's supposed to happen not really sure but I tend to flip them a lot because I hate the gravity spikes first of all. <laughs> um, try to use the war machine at points. <laughs> I like it when I get the tempest because the tempest is my favorite special so weapon. So when I get the chance to get this, the tempest, that's like my dom specialist weapon. So they're done for. But anyway, um, oh I got destroyed right there. <laughs> but yeah. What happened is that I don't know if it's worth having it for a long time because, um, if think about it, if everybody has blackjack, nobody's gonna be using any other specialist except for blackjack, then there would be no point of blackjack because everyone's gonna be using them and nobody can steal anybody's special ability or weapon. So I can see why they time limited him and once a week because then it'd just be blackjack, blackjack. To me, blackjack is an overpowered character because he can get any weapon or special ability at any time he wants. So it's, it's crazy how he could do that and all he really needs is 5 kills. He'll get the rogue or he'll get the gambler. In my perspective, I believe that Gambler is better than Rogue because special abilities are more powerful than weapons. Weapons can sometimes get you killed, abilities can save you alive. So, Gambler in this character is more useful than uh, Rogue. Next, what I'm going to be showing you is a gameplay of Gambler. Um, I didn't really use Gambler that much, I don't know why, even though it's my favorite. <laughs> Uh, that contradicts the point of what I said. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, Gambler is more efficient. It's like, it comes at random. You only need to kill the specialist that you uh, killed when you get the ability. But it just gives you a random ability out of nowhere. So let's say you kill a fire break. It could give you a psychosis or an active camo. It doesn't necessarily gonna give you the um, heat wave. So, I kind of like it because you can take your chances. Uh, for example, look, I get Psychosis here, but um, I killed a Annihilator and uh, 
what's what I saw? I don't remember who I killed, but anyway, like I got the Iper Camel now, and I even have to kill Spike there for that. So, Gamma is more useful. I don't, in my opinion, I like it. I don't know how many people like Gamma or how many people like Rogue. But you could tell me that down in the comments below which one you prefer, Gambler or Rogue. Uh, anyway, Gambler, it's like it's like the the Rogue. All you really need is like four or five kills, and you just get it instantly. And so you could get a specialist ability after specialist ability. So it's like you're invincible. Imagine getting kinetic armor every single draw, and then you're just a whole armor for the rest of the game. You know how fucking crazy that is? <laughs> oh god. Overall, I believe that Gambler is better than Rogue uh, because it's more useful. But I don't know what you guys think about him. Uh, leave your comments down below and tell me what you prefer Gambler or Rogue. And well, yeah, um, I don't really have anything else to say. But uh, I'll upload more videos tomorrow or the next day and I'll do an overview of the new weapons that recently came out and the melee weapons so stay tuned for that like comment subscribe it really supports the channel it'll help me out and like I said I want to grow with you guys and it would be nice for me to have some amazing subscribers but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you all later